Hey, 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 how's it going, everyone? It's Animation 4, and I am here with another custom MC Edit filter. So, uh, when the set block command came out, Seth Bling wrote this filter to fill areas using tons of command blocks that each set individual blocks. Now, there's the clone command that can clone up to 4,096 blocks from one area to another. So, what I've done is I've written a filter for that command. And you can see I have this massive wall here. It's a 90 by 64 by 4. So it's 4 wide, 90 long, and 64 tall. And that's a total of 23,040 command blocks, which would mean that it needs 6 clone commands to clone this area. And personally, I am very lazy, and I don't want to figure out what those 6 clone commands are. So I wrote an MC Edit filter to do it for you. Now if you see here, I have 8 command blocks and six and six so eight is obviously more than the regular six but I'll tell you why I did that in a minute but if I ran this middle one right here it will take this region and clone it right over here and just wait for the area to update and there it is exact same thing now if I ran this bottom one you would see it vanish. And this one does the same thing as what the first one did, just a little differently. So, if the area would load, it, it clones it fast, it doesn't reload the chunks very fast. So if you were to notice, when I ran this one, it started way down there, and it cloned the area going this way. And the same thing when I deleted it. When I ran this one, it started from this side, cloned this piece, then this piece, and this piece, and this piece. And since the surface area of this side is more than 4096, it needed two, two command blocks per slice. That's why this eight. Whereas the other direction is more efficient and used less command blocks. So this one, every time it clones something, it usually used less than the maximum amount. This one used closer to the maximum amount. So let's go into MC Edit and check out this filter and how to use it. Okay, so now you can see here's my massive wall. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the wall. And that'll also show you the dimensions. Oh, it might have been bigger than I thought. Oh, I guess my numbers are wrong. 96 by 4 by 64. But that's still 6 command blocks. So now if I go into filter, I'm going to find clone region right here. Now there's quite a few options. First, clone box coordinates. That would be the first six coordinates in the command where it's cloning from. If you want it to be relative, you want it to be actual. Target box coordinates would be where it's cloning to. I want that to be relative to actual. I'll make them both relative. Build method is either masked or replace. If it's masked, then it will not clone any air blocks. And if it's replaced, it'll clone the entire thing. So if there was an air block and it was cloning to a place that had blocks there, it would leave the blocks that were there and not delete them. Preferred build direction is what I was talking about earlier. The first set I had had a, pref had a preferred build direction of Z, which is this way. So I will run that command first. Forced width is say you wanted to clone each Y layer at a time going down to take 64 command blocks but if you wanted to do that you could select Y direction and have a forced width of 1. A forced width of 0 will select the largest possible to use the command blocks. So I'm going to go Z direction, no forced width, and I'm going to do set structure region. I'm going to run the filter and nothing's going to happen. Now I'm going to click select and click and hold this nudge button then do shift D that shifted the selected region over 16 blocks I'm going to do it again because this is where I had the other one so this one will be over here so now I have a new area with the same dimensions as the old area and that's important for a one reason but it's not required so now I'm going to set target region run the filter again and again nothing's going to happen so now I'm going to drop down to the ground 
and down here I'm going to deselect my region. I'm just going to select a little area. Eh, smaller. And then I'm going to click filter. And I'm going to place command blocks. And it should tell me you need more space for the command blocks. You have space for six now, but eight need to be placed. So that there is an error that pops up. So now I want to show you the build DX, build DY, and build DZ. This is the Z direction right now. And if I want to do what I did with there, with the repeaters between, I can set build DZ to 1, and it'll leave a one gap space between all the Z coordinates. So if I did this, it could be here, 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 and need one more. So that should be enough for eight command blocks and piles of two. Just like that. So now, let's move this over and let's try the prefer the most efficient direction. And this one should be six, because I've won it before. So most efficient direction. And it only takes into account the options when you're placing command blocks or place fill air command blocks. So you don't need to worry about the options till you're doing that and you can change afterwards. So now I'm going to go to most efficient. I'm going to run the filter again. Oh, I still have the set one. There we go. There's those six. Now the reason the target box had to be the same size as the the target box had to be the same size as the destination the clone box, sorry, is if you wanted to use this function, the place fill air command blocks. Now for this one to happen, the target dimensions had to be the same as the structure dimensions, and if they're not, it'll give you an error. Because you don't want to be deleting what you didn't clone. So I'm going to keep everything the same, most efficient, all that. I'm just going to run the filter again. And there's the deletes. And now we can go back in and don't worry, I didn't forget to save. So now we have these here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some repeaters. And these I'm just going to cover in redstone. And that's it, we're done. So you can see there's tons of clone commands with some weird numbers and I put down the button and hit it, it should go layer by layer, doing the entire layer at a time, whereas that one did half a layer. Okay, see, that one was a lot faster. That was only 12 tick, twelve redstone ticks as opposed to, I don't know, 36? No, not that many. B7, set 42. All right, I'm not thinking right now. So that, was, that one was a lot faster. This one should be the fastest because it's all in one redstone tick, as should this one. So the entire thing deleted in one redstone tick. And for this one, the entire thing appeared in one redstone tick. And after experimenting, I find that if you get more than 20 clone commands at once, you'll get some serious lag. It'll be redstone based lag though, it wouldn't, won't be game lag. Your FPS shouldn't drop, but you should experience like kind of like a server disconnect where everything stops around you as the client has to catch up with the server, even at single player. And yeah, that's the filter. So you can, these fill with air. So you delete it, you can clone. And all fer very few steps to get these crazy numbers. Like who would come in and figure out all these numbers? Look at look at these, so random. But that's the filter. There may be bugs in it. I have not tested it on various shapes. So if you have any bugs, you can just post a comment. I will fix them. And the, de the download link is going to be in the description. Where else would it be? And that is going to be it. Thanks for watching.